Hi, this is Kent Sanders from The Artist's Suitcase at artistsuitcase.com. And I want to take just a moment today to talk to you about the problems that Evernote solves. If you've read my blog for any length of time or listened to my podcast, you know that I'm a huge fan of Evernote. And in fact, I've done a lot of training and coaching for people on Evernote. And it's a great tool that's very, very helpful. But whenever I'm trying to help people to understand what Evernote is and why it's so valuable, I'm always trying to figure out a way to communicate the value of it because you know unless a tool solves a problem it's not really very helpful and take it from me Evernote solves a lot of different problems but I wanted to boil it down to five problems that Evernote solves really really well and I wanted to just communicate those to you today number one is that Evernote solves the problem of paper clutter Evernote is so wonderful because you can scan paper right into Evernote and save it as a PDF a searchable PDF in fact if you have the right scanner and it solves this problem of papers just lying around your office or your house. And when we have paper clutter, it really creates stress because we're always kind of wanting to do something with paper. It just kind of creates this sense of anxiety, at least it does in a lot of people. And whenever you have a clean desk, whenever you have a, a neat, clean work environment, it really helps to be more productive and to be more relaxed and to do better work. Number two, Evernote solves the problem of finding your information. Evernote is kind of like a one central place to put all of your information and data. Uh, of different kinds. You know, it could be stuff from taxes and insurance to creative ideas that you have to writing and blogging ideas to shopping lists to vacation plans and everything in between. And Evernote is so great because it solves the problem of having to find that information. You know where it is? It's very easy to locate because Evernote search features are incredibly powerful. In fact, it's even so powerful that it recognizes handwriting and text within pictures. You know, and my handwriting is really, really bad. And if Evernote recognizes my handwriting, then it definitely gets props from me. Number three, Evernote solves the problem of clipping material from the internet. With their browser extension called the Web Clipper, it's very, very easy to clip material or save material from web pages. And you can do that in a variety of different ways and, and formats. And it saves it right into an Evernote notebook that you choose. And it's so handy and uh, so helpful. Number four, Evernote solves the problem of what I call scattered information. And you know what this is like. If you're working on a project or, or maybe it's a, a sermon or you're working on a lesson or an article or a song or something like that, you've got ideas scattered all over the place. You may have content or ideas related to that thing. You may have some emails. You may have some photographs on your phone. You may have some ideas that you've written down in a notebook or on a scrap of paper somewhere. Or if you're like me, I write them on the back of meeting notes all the time. And you have all these different things scattered all over the place, you know, documents and Dropbox and, and all different kinds of places. But wouldn't it be cool if you had one single place to consolidate all that information so that all those items were grouped according to the topic or the project or the subject and not in those various digital or physical places? Well, Evernote gives you a great way to do just that. And when we do that, it mirrors how we actually think and work because, you know, our brain doesn't think, well, I've got all these thousands of emails over here you know, and wanting to look through all those things, um, Evernote's a great way to consolidate that information. And it really mirrors best how we work and think and collaborate with others. And then number five, Evernote solves the problem of lost ideas. And if you're a person who communicates for a living, or I suppose for a hobby, you know, if you're an artist, if you're a person who creates content, you're a teacher or a pastor or a leader of any kind, you know the value of not losing your ideas because we live and die by our content, right? So if you're a blogger or a podcaster or any of those others that I mentioned where you're constantly creating content and you need to generate ideas and save those ideas, Evernote is such a wonderful tool because it gives us a way to save those ideas and have them ready at our fingertips whenever we need to. As long as you have access to a computer or mobile device and you've saved something in Evernote, it's there ready and waiting for you whenever you need to access it. So Evernote solves those five problems really, really well. It does a bunch of other things extremely well also. But when I try to just boil it down, what does Evernote do well? It does those five things extremely well. And of course, I have a system called the Take Note system that is an Evernote tutorial system designed for people just like you. If you're a person who creates content or you're an artist or you're, you're a leader of any kind, the Take Note system is designed to help you take advantage of the incredible power of Evernote. So check it out. You can go to takenotesystem.com and find out more information there. Thanks.